What's up, everybody? It's James here from the Sawyer Family Reviews channel. Today is Wednesday, April 17th, 2024, and this is the weekly comic book pickups video. <clears throat> Every week, I buy comic books. I get them for myself, get them for my kids, get them at Queen City Comics in Fayetteville, Ohio. Zip code 45014. If you're in the area and in the comic books, check out that comic shop. And while you're over there, check out the toy department. It's only like a mile down the road. You know, you're going to love it over there. All right, let's see what we got. We got some old stuff and then mostly, well, one old thing and then mostly new stuff. I think this was maybe last week or the week before. I don't remember. Uh, this is for Gracie. Scooby-Doo, where are you? 127. This is 299. And uh, your creatives, we'll find out in a minute here. Um, we, we really enjoy all these Scooby-Doo books. This is written by Derek, Derek Fridolfs and pencils by Walter Carzon. Uh, but like I said, this is, oh, look at this one. It's got like a convention thing going on in this, in this story. Batman Scooby-Doo and, and regular Scooby-Doo. There's a Harley Quinn preview with her yucky, not animated series look. Um, so those are always fun. They're always going to be a fun pickup. Now we're into this week's stuff. For Blaze, I got Army of Darkness Forever, number seven with the Sudan cover. Uh, this was $4.99. And our creatives are Tony Fleeks writing and Popman doing the art. I don't have any idea what this series is about. I have no idea when it ends. I just don't know anything about anything. But that's what I picked up for him. And then we've got... I messed up. So I messed up on this one. So I, I was going to get this issue of Mace Windu. And I looked at this cover. And I thought, this art on this cover is really bad. Like, what's going on with his hand there? It's like it's a, it's been chopped off. And they've shoved a lightsaber into what, what was left. Um, this, this weird kind of photo... This Photoshop coloring thing. This makes this almost look like... Like it's like some kind of Play-Doh. I this was a I just did not like this cover at all. I, and ordinarily on this book I'll get the regular cover because the variants have nothing to do with the book nowadays. But this one was so bad that I was like I'm gonna grab this Master and Apprentice one because at least I like this cover, even though Darth Vader and the Emperor have nothing to do with this. But then I forgot that this was still in my stack, and I bought it anyway. So I bought two copies of Mace Windu today. Mace Windu, Deuce. Mace Windu, Deuce, because there's two. Uh, and I didn't even want this one. I didn't even want this cover. <sighs> I need to pay more attention. I need to pay more attention. Uh, Mark Bernardine doing the writing and Jorge Giante doing the pencils. The interior pencils are much better than that cover. Much, much better than that cover. Actually, really like these pencils. I think this person's done some Mandalorian before. I'm pretty sure. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to go back and read this when it's all said and done. And I'm very excited about this. I'm very. I'm. I'm going to go ahead and just say it. I enjoy. I'm a fan of the Phantom Menace. I've gone from being super excited about when it first came out, then it coming out, and me and being kind of like disappointed in in how it turned out. Still enjoying it, but definitely disappointment and as the years went by it was more and more just like I ah, really I don't need to watch Phantom Menace I don't need to watch any of the prequels I'm just kind of burnt out and Star Wars in general uh, but as I look back on it more and more I don't think I've ever disliked the Phantom Menace I don't think I've ever hated Phantom Menace I've always liked Phantom Menace the best of the prequels but I actually really have come to enjoy Phantom Menace so I'm, I'm excited about this I'm excited about the re-release bring on some Phantom Menace uh, and then we've got, this is for Keaton, Cover Commander number four. He really enjoys these Energon Universe books from Skybound. Uh, this one's written by Josh Williamson and art by Andrea Milana. He's a big fan of all these. The, the Transformers book, Void Rivals, Cobra Commander, Duke, and I believe there's going to be a G.I. Joe series as well that, that ties into this. Oh, there's an Energon Universe number one. I got to tell him about that. Uh, Duke, Transformers, uh, 
Commander. I, I don't see an ad for a G.I. Joe book, but I thought that they did announce that a G.I. Joe one's coming. And then last but not least, I grabbed this Star Wars Bounty Hunters Dark Droids trade. This is Bounty Hunters book seven, which I'm pretty sure I have. I know I have at least the first five Bounty Hunters books. I think I have all six. I think this is number seven for me. And I have all these individual issues, but you know, I've got all the other trades anyway. I want to go ahead and get it. And I'll probably end up getting the Omnibus when they eventually do an Omnibus. But this was the Dark Droids crossover. So these are the Bounty Hunter issues that fall within the Dark Droids crossover. Um, one day I'm going to sit down and I'm going to read all these. And it's going to be a glorious day where I just read and read and read. But until then, I'm just going to keep buying all the trades and get them all collected. There's enough books here in Bounty Hunters to be an omnibus. And I'm sure there is going to be an omnibus at some point that I will buy, but I do like having the trades. And you know, when I get the omnibus, I'll give all the trades to Keaton. Then he'll have those to read because he's looked at them before and been like, oh man, Bounty Hunters trades. I want to get some of those. So, and that is it for this week. If you enjoy the videos, like, subscribe, notify. If you read comics, leave a comment down below. See you guys next week. Take it easy. Goodbye.